Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Kathy's Corner, Seed in the Sand, and this is Chapter 10 of Fall, Wild Woman. And we're going to go out with a bang. We're going to just like take it all the way to the to the wild side. <laughs> um, because um, we're going to jump right from fall to spring and um, that regrowth. We're, we're focusing on that regrowth, that, that new birth, that rebirth. Um, and I wanted to come on today to say thank you to anyone who's been out there who's kind of feeling like they're alone and, you know, don't really have a lot of people that understand, um, especially things like what I go through with, um, you know, having a charge of, um, that led to a mental health emergency and, um, judges that, you know, said, well, she should never have a firearm forever and ever. Amen. And lock her away and make her just go away. Um, we don't go away, you know, so I give a lot of credit to those who are following me who might understand that. Um, that feeling of, you know, why don't you just go away? Um, I can't go away. I have a life to live and I have things to do and I have a dream and I have a mission and I have a movement, a movement to say that we aren't going to get locked up and for, throw away the key stuck on a pill for the rest of our lives. We're just not. I've seen people who are locked up on pills for the rest of their life. and. I don't want to be one of them and I feel so bad for them because they're people they're they're not animals so um boy that really that really struck me um because there is memories of watching people who are trying to you know like off themselves because they can't stand the situation they're in. <laughs> what kind of life is that? What kind of life is that for them? And then nobody cares. They're just sent away. I've seen other people who were in mental health crisis and police officers did really bad things to them and um, and locked them away locked them away on a pill I've seen it and it's it's heartbreaking to watch and I don't like remembering it and if anybody's out there that can watch from a, you know, hospital room or where you're locked away. I'm sorry, I don't mean to upset you, um, but it's hard. It, it must be so hard, and I'm so sorry that that's happening to you. So, anyway, um, you know, we're going to wind up on a wild side. Um, it's not over, okay? It's not over for you. You're gonna get through this. You're gonna get through. You're gonna be okay. All right, I'm gonna, um, I don't have my uh, oracle cards with me, so I'm gonna use the star moon tarot. Sorry, I'm crying. Um, Star Moon Tarot cards. One for the past, one for our future, and one for the present. So the second one will be for the present, and the third one will be for the future. Um, and I pray that those who are contained in this world are released because it's unjust. All right, this is my favorite card in the whole deck. This is my mama, the Queen of Cups. 
and it says compassion, comfort, calm, nurturance, healing, emotional stability, intuition, and caring. So that's the past. That's for the past. Ace of Cups for the present, and it says love, compassion, creativity, new feelings, spirituality, intuition, a new baby, a proposal, or marriage. New beginnings is what it is. Fresh starts. Love it. And the third one is for our future. I think it was this one. Oh, this way. I like this card too, the Emperor. The Emperor says respect, leadership, stability, structure, rules and power, authority, father figure, focus, protection, control, disciplined, practical. And I, I say that the Queen of Cups is Mama, which is Mother Mary, and the um, Emperor is Papa, who would be God, the creator. That's just my opinion. I don't think other tarot card readers will, will uh, agree with me, but I don't care. That's just how I see it. So, All right. Um, I want to say thank you again um, to anyone out there who's feeling trapped feeling alone, feeling, God, I'm going to cry again, um, feeling like they just can't get out of the situation that they're in. And I want to say thank you for following me um, because it's, I know how hard that can be. I know how sad it is to be in a situation that you can't escape. And my, I, sometimes I think that I'm lucky. I'm a lucky one because I got to escape and I got to um, start fresh and I got to have a new beginning and other people didn't get that chance and they're still in there wherever they are and this movement that I'm starting is for them the stuck the lonely, the depressed, the sad, the trapped. Um, you are a wild woman and you will fall. There will be a fall like the trees and the leaves fall. And you will become part of the earth and you will regrow and you will become one with creator, nature, however you want to see it, um, yourself, um, you will become one with that, with that person. And the truth will be revealed. And those who are offending you or oppressing you, um, they will have to answer for themselves and they will have to apologize to you and they will have to explain themselves whether they like it or not and their version of the truth isn't going to stick when it comes to God so celebrate life is good even if you're trapped life is good because you have God on your side and he's right there with you And I like to think that I'm an authentic, understanding, compassionate person. And the movement that I want to start is for you. 
I mean, nobody should feel trapped. Nobody should feel alone. Nobody should feel um, confined in chains for the remainder of their lives. It's not fair. So, all right. I will start tomorrow with spring. New beginnings. We go from fall and death and destruction and, you know, feeling like it's the end to a deep sleep, and tomorrow we will rise again. All right. Have a good day.